Let's play a round of If You Only Knew. Would you say Adam Conover is your proudest accomplishment? Oh, man. Um, you know, obviously, the, the television show that we're doing has always been my, had been my dream to do, and now we're doing it. So it, it is my proudest accomplishment. Okay. Um, the, the thing that makes me happiest about it is that kids watch the show and that they come up to me, you know, uh, when I'm doing a live event, you know, families will come with their kids and say, your show's the only show we watch together. And I say to the kids, what do you like about the show? And they say, uh, I like, it makes me curious. I, it makes me think more critically about things. Um, that is really, really cool to me. Curiosity is... Curiosity is my mantra. Food you can't stand. You know, it was just Thanksgiving and every Thanksgiving meal I go to, there's some kind of... There's some kind of weird sweet jello dish. Like every family's got their own version of it. Like some kind of foamy or jello-y or like marshmallow, you know, like and there's like fruit in it and it's a weird color. It's never quite the same thing. I can't I can't stand can't that. Stand I take it. a little bit to be nice, but then I take it and then that's it. That's what scares you? Failure scares me. Uh, I'm uh, always fear of failure. Fear of failure. I think it's very common for someone in my Best position. Best piece of advice you ever got. You know, I'll say it because it came to mind. Uh, it's only a applicable to uh, comedians. Um, uh, and another comedian named Mick Vatterot told me, uh, told me this at a comedy party at 1 a.m. We were both drinking in an apartment. I don't know why he told me this, um, but he said, hey, when, the, when, a, when a network or an executive or somebody like that gives you a note and you don't like it, right, you should take it because if you take it, then they, you know, the person giving you the feedback is going to feel more invested in your success because you you did what they what they asked, and now they're going to say, "Oh, good, I got my fingers in this and I made it better." What's the worst like, piece of advice you ever got? It's from my grandfather. Uh, I hate to say it, uh, my grandfather, uh, wonderful man, uh, passed away recently. Worked for AT and T for fifty years in upstate Michigan, um, and he told me when I graduated college, he said. Adam, when you get your first job, don't rock the boat. Just do what the boss says. Don't talk back. Don't don't think you know. Don't think too critically. Just do what they say. That's what they want to see. And I thought, man, you know that advi that advice would have served him really well in you know 1946 when and he AT &T, yeah. yeah when he got out of World War II right and he was working there. But that's not what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've done the exact opposite, and it served me very well, as much as I love my, my granddad. Most starstruck you've ever been? I mean, meeting you, Larry. Oh, that's a good thrill. <laughs> it's place, I'm thrilled right here. Place we'd find you on a day off. Uh, man, I play a ton of video games. Um, oh, you do? I do play a ton a of video nerd, games. A little nerdish? I am, well, well, everybody likes video games now. It's not just for nerds anymore. I don't play them. Maybe I'm too old. <laughs> well, I play S a lot of them. Something people get wrong about you. Uh, you know, people think I'm a killjoy, and they think I'm in it to <laughs> I'm in it to make people unhappy and upset. And I actually have a very optimistic point of view. Uh, that is, that the more we learn, the better life is, and that people love learning, and that learning these things actually makes life better. So, who would you switch places? Like to switch places with for a day? Oh my gosh, mm. that's a really that is a really really good question. I can't you don't say have you to again. Answer. It's not a court. <laughs> okay, we'll skip it. Okay. Childhood celebrity crush. You know, I loved Melissa Joan Hart in Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. Wonderful, wonderful show. Uh, very funny. I, I was always, uh, I was always attracted to funny women, and uh, my partner Lisa Hannawalt is a uh, extremely funny cartoonist who works on the sh Netflix show Bo BoJack Horseman. She has her own show coming out on Netflix called Tuca and Birdie in 2019. That's a little plug. Uh, but, uh, so, yeah, I've just always been, funny women has always been my thing. Do you have a secret talent? A secret talent? Um, I'm pretty damn good at Tetris, Larry. What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, boy. Um, you know, I love, I love Shark Tank. <laughs> I do, too. That's, that's such a wonderful show. You can't and shut it off. It's impossible to shut off. And, I, and I, you know, we criticize so much of corporate America on our show. We criticize billionaires. We have an episode coming out, you know, next year about, about how billionaires aren't, you know, the great saints that they claim to be. And that's a show where it's just like, hey, look, look at the billionaires look good. Oh, they're the heroes. They're the titans. And, and you know, the, the products that they're helping out are largely terrible. But, man, that is... Uh, that is one of the best shows on yeah, television. It is. It's really hard not to, to, to watch it. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.